Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskritya Naran Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayamati Rayet Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavate Uttam Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Today we'll continue reading from 5th Canto Chapter 26 entitled A Description of the Hellish Planets from Text 11. In this, in this life, an envious person commits violent acts against many living entities. Therefore, after his death, when he is taken to hell by Yamaraja, those living entities who were hurt by him appear as animals called rurus to inflict very severe pain upon him. Learned scholars call this hell raurava. Not generally seen in this world, the ruru is more envious than a snake. Text 12. Punishment in the hell called maha rau Rava is compulsory for a person who maintains his body by hurting others. In this hell, Ruru animals known as Kravyada torment him and eat his flesh. Text 13. For the maintenance of their bodies and the satisfaction of their tongues, cruel persons cook poor animals and birds alive. Such persons are condemned even by man-eaters. In their next lives, they are called by the Yamadutas to the hell known as Kumbi Paka, where they are cooked in boiling oil. Text 14. The killer of a Brahmana is put into the hell known as Kala Sutra, which has a circumference of 80,000 miles and which is made properly entirely of copper. Heated from uh, below by fire and from above the scorching sun, the copper surface of this planet is extremely hot. Thus, the murderer of a Brahmana suffers from being burned both internally and externally. Internally, he is burning with hunger and thirst and externally, he is burning from the scorch, scorching heat of the sun and the fire beneath the copper surface. Therefore, he sometimes lies down, sometimes sit, sometimes stand up and sometimes runs here and there. He must suffer in this way for many thousands years of ears as there are hairs on the body of an animal. Text 15. If a person deviates from, from the path of the Vedas in the absence of an emergency, the servants of Yamaraja put him into the hell called Asipatravana, where they beat him with whips. When he runs hither and thither, fleeing from the extreme pain on all sides, he runs into palm trees with leaves like sharpened swords. Thus injured all over his body and fainting at every step, he cries out, Oh, what shall I do now? How shall I be saved? This is how one suffers from uh, when devi who deviates from the accepted religious principles. Text 16. In his next life, a sinful king or government representative who punishes an innocent person or who inflicts Corporal punishment upon a Brahmana is taken by the Yamadutas to the hell called Sukara Mukha, where the most powerful assistants of Yamaraja crush him exactly as one crushes sugar cane to squeeze out the juice. The sinful living entity cries very pitiably and fades, just like an innocent man undergoing punishments. This is the result of, a, of punishing a faultless person. Text 17. By the arrangement of the Supreme Lord, low-grade living beings like bugs and mosquitoes, suck the blood of human beings and other animals. Such insignificant creatures are unaware that their bites are painful to the human being. However, first-class human beings, Brahmanas, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas are developed in consciousness and therefore they know how painful it is to be killed. A human being endowed with knowledge certainly commits sin if he kills or torments insignificant creatures who have no discrimination. The Supreme Lord punishes such a man by putting him into hell known as Andakupa, where he is attacked by all the birds and beasts, reptiles, mosquitoes, lice, worms, flies and any other creatures he tormented during his life. They attack him from all sides, robbing him of the pleasure of sleep. Unable to rest, he constantly wanders about in the darkness. Thus, in 
and the kupa his suffering is just like that of a creature in the lower species text 18 a person is considered no better than a crow if after receiving some food he does not divide it among guests old men and children but simply eats it himself or if he eats without performing the five kinds of sacrifice after death he is put into the most abominable hell known as krimi bhojana in that hell it is a lake uh, 100 100000 yojanas 800000 miles wide and filled with worms he becomes a worm in that lake and feeds on the other worms there who also feed on him unless he atones for his actions before his death such a sinful man remains in the hellish lake of krimi bhojana for many as many years as there are yojanas in the width of the lake text 19 my dear king a, um, a person who is who in the absence of an emergency robs a brahmana or indeed anyone else of his gems and gold in is put into a hell known as sandamsha there his skin is torn and separated by red hot iron balls and tongs in this way his entire body is cut into pieces text 20 a man or woman who indulges in sex intercourse with an unworthy member of the opposite sex is punished after death by the assistance of yamaraja in the hell known as tapta surmi there such men and women are beaten with with the man is forced to embrace a red hot iron form of a woman and the woman is forced to embrace embrace a similar form of a man such is a punishment for illicit sex text 21 a person who indulges in sex indiscriminately even with animals is taken after death to the hell known as uh, vajrakanta shala mali in this hell there is a silk cotton tree full of thorns as strong as thunderbolts the agents of yamaraja hang the sinful man on that tree and pull him down forcibly so that the thorns thorns very severely severely tear his body text 22 a person who is born in Mother. yes madhuji hari krishna yeah it's in the 20th month yeah thank you madhuji thank you so much madhuji hari krishna sri krishna das prabhuji whenever you are ready please take over the conference hari krishna yeah <clears throat> thank you radharani mata ji thank you swapna mata ji krishnaay vasudevaay devaki nandanaay cha nandagopakumaraay gobindaay namo namaha vairagya vidya nija bhakti yogam sikshashtame kam purusha puranam shri krishna chaitanya sharira dari krupam vidirtamaham prapadye हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण डियर डिवोटीज सो इन दिस चैप्टर सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज एलैबरेटिंग ऑन हाउ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजायर्स और लीडिंग टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ consciousness and different types of activities that we perform leads to different types of punishments in the hellish planets so sukade goswami wanted to you know asking in the previous chapter what else can i describe so in the in the chapter's beginning we can see there was a question that was asked the question was parishit maharaj asking why is that living entities are put into different material situations so parishit maharaj is asking a specific question here so this uh, as we can see 14 planetary systems and then uh, how the different uh, boom mandala um, all the directions of uh, uh, different planetary systems how the sun is you know rotating and all that everything has been described now so different planetary systems different living entities are residing now so parikshit maharaj is asking so how is that uh, living entities are put into different situations what is the reason why is that so so in essence sukadev goshwami gives a brief answer and then elaborates on how the mode of ignorance 
and mode of passion the people who are uh, in mode of ignorance and modes of passion uh, how they are actually punished because of the activities that they do in this material world so starting from verse number 11 so so kudai goswami is describing different uh, result resultant actions that happens after performing different activities in this material world so he's describing uh, is describing elish planets like raurava maharaurava kumbipaka kalashutra so all of these have specific name names given and specific uh, punishments is being awarded by these places so each of these names represents each of the punishments and also a, a particular way of punishment that is delivered. So in this world, we also say Krishna says that karmana uh, anyatra lokayam karma bandhanaha tadartam karma kaunteya mukta sangha samacharaha. So the work binds us. So in order to always be free from the reactions of the work, we have to act for the pleasure of Vishnu. So for the pleasure of Vishnu. So, but all of these activities described here, you know, is acted upon, is acted not for the pleasure of Vishnu. It was acted for the pleasure of the body, pleasure of the senses, thinking oneself that, the body uh, is, there is nothing. Um, so the, the person can act in three ways. One is the completely ignorant. It does not understand, okay, what is scriptures? It does not understand what is right, what is wrong. That is the first position. The second position is he understands scriptures. He understands what is right, but still he could not control his senses. He's acting against the violation of the scriptures. That is the second position. Third position is one who is atheist, who does not believe in scriptures, who does not believe in God. He just want to act, you know, as an atheist. So these three positions Sukade Goswami is describing that the first is the least severe and the, the atheist is the most severe. And the intermediate where somebody knows that what is right what is wrong but still he could not control his senses and activities that is the intermediate position so now in all of these hellish uh, hellish conditions uh, one thing is common one thing is common that we can see that we are causing violence against another living entity right so krishna also uh, in many of the verses you know, he always tries to establish uh, a, a sense of equilibrium or sense of uh, uh, a friendship among living entities. So even in the Sankirtan, you know, there is a particular mention of how when a when lot of sadhus, when a lot of devotees come together and then they glorify the Lord, the Lord is more, much more uh, joyful and he reciprocates in the much more... Uh, uh, a much more uh, way. So the 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 essence is that he wants all living entities to cooperate with each other and glorify the Lord and also live in a harmony. So, but anybody who causes violence against each other, he is not living in a harmony. He is basically causing a trouble in the society. So, what kind of a trouble one can cause? He can cause trouble with his uh, body, mind, and words, right? So, but most of these, uh, most of these uh, hellish planets mentioned, it's not mind, it's not words, it's by, uh, you know, some of these punishments is also uh, by mind and words. For example, one who does not give respect to the guest and who does not, you know, treat them and, uh, so there is a punishment hellish planets for that also. So that is basically body and words, mind and words, manasa, vacha, and then karmana. So most of these uh, hellish planets is by 
karma by the activities by using our uh, body the perform we perform certain activities so all of these are ca mostly categorized into that category so from the verse number 11 uh, so here so here a particular mention of uh, the word ruru so it is it is uh, uh, it is said that this animal ruru is not seen in this buloka but still it is mentioned here that there is a reference given by rupa goswami so so he gives a particular reference of this uh, ruru so he says uh, uh, even though it's not um, nija um, so even though here it's not mentioned so it seems that this ruru is more envious than a snake so in this world uh, snake is very envious and snake that's why you can see snake always hisses and when there was one instance during Prabhupada's time that uh, when Prabhupada was with uh, his Guru Maharaj his, his holiness uh, his divine grace Bhakti, Veda, um, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj at that time there was one snake so his disciples were shouting snake snake and then uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj said yeah kill him kill him and that time Prabhupada had a doubt, like how is that a sadhu is asking to kill an animal? Is it sinful? Is it not sinful? So at that time and after that he understood that the snake is very envious. And by killing that snake, the sadhus were protecting the environment at the same time. They are giving him a better life in the next life. So he understood that uh, uh, the the meaning why at that time Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj was asking the his disciples to kill that snake. So to live a life of uh, a snake with such envy is so uh, um, so uh, cruel and so um, uh, sinful and cruel and the life itself is very dangerous. Anytime it can attack anybody and then they can you know attack back. So that is, um, it, you can see like what to speak of a human being who has such a life, uh, who is living a life full of uh, this uh, envy, um, this envious heart. He commits so many sinful activities and he tries to take over somebody, uh, somebody's uh, wealth, somebody's property, you know, somebody's position by just by being envious. He commits so many sinful acts and then he is being punished in the hell called Maharavarova. So this is a gross, grossly misactivities. You know, these are not uh, subtle, these are gross misactivities. All of these uh, hells mentioned here. Similarly, a Brahmahatya, this is also a very grossly misact, you know, um, sinful activity that one is being punished. Uh, so and then here uh, in the verse number 15, it says, if person deviates the path of Vedas in the absence of an emergency. So generally, a person, uh, when when a person lives a life, there is an emergency situation where, you know, somebody is dying, uh, somebody uh, is not able to uh, live their life, you know, they are about to, uh, take some severe uh, medical emergencies and situations like that. So that time it is allowed to transgress the path of Vedas. I know, for example, if you're in a desert, there is nothing to be, you know, consumed. There is only, uh, you know, uh, hardly any food, only some meat is available. That time it is okay to transgress just to protect yourself. But in a normal situation, one cannot transgress the path of Vedas. One cannot, you know, simply go on killing the living entities and eating meat just for the pleasure of our tongue. That is not acceptable. So for that sinful activity here, the Amaraj, you know, uh, the servants of Amara, they put the people into Asi Patravana. So, so these... Uh, um, these descriptions mentioned here, 
the actual description, the actual names. Like uh, Sukadev Goswami also says, sometimes there are uh, 28 and sometimes there are uh, 20, 21. So he gives a specific names, specific descriptions. So these are factual, uh, factual truths. So, so in this in this way, um, the person who is um, devious the path of Vedas for a normal situation, he gets punished. So in Prabhupada's life, there was one instance uh, he had a severe illness when he was a small child. And then this doctor comes and says, oh, we have to give him uh, chicken soup. Otherwise, he will not, he will not actually, uh, uh, he will not live. He, he'll, it's a very serious condition. Uh, just to save him, you have to give this meat, meat soup like that. So, but that time his father and mother, they did not allow, um, you know, they, they wanted to take shelter of the Lord and then whatever may be the, you know, outcome, they wanted to just uh, leave it. Because they are Vaishnava families and they had such high culture and they could not, even at the emergency, they could not violate the path of Vedas. So there are, you know, there are extremely um, pious Vaishnavas and sadhus like that. But generally, in an emergency situation, it is okay, and, and um, this this uh, it is not a violation. So, and then um, so in the verse number 16, 17, 18, here also there are grossly vile, uh, grossly sinful activities mentioned here. That if a person is on the position of administrative position, uh, like a judge in the court or one who is a police officer or he can be a prime minister or a president you know it doesn't matter like any position which can award some um, some punishment to others from a, such a position if he is taking a position of punishing an innocent person knowingly innocent person then he is also committing a gross sinful violation so imagine a sinful person going into a jail uh, and then, you know, staying there for many, many years or lifetimes. It's a very painful situation. And for that purpose, the same, uh, the person who awarded such a judgment, he is also being punished. So this is also another gross violation that, so that's why... To be in a situation where we can give some uh, judgment or we can... We can we can guard others and we can give some punishment to others. That position is a dangerous position. So especially we all have uh, children that we take care at home. So we should be very careful um, how to correct them. You know, like whenever we are giving some punishment, we should be really careful not to uh, unnecessarily give any punishment. You know, even if we have to give some. Uh, refinement it should be in a very loving way that way they can uh, be always attracted uh, to the activities um, pious activities that they have to perform so by force nothing can be done but by love we can uh, make a change so to make that change we have to basically uh, be a living example that we follow first and then we try to understand the problems and then we try to tell them what to do what not to do so there was one sadhu, um, his mother actually takes his child to the sadhu and asks him that, tell my child not to eat sweets. So we all know this story. But sadhu says, okay, come after like uh, one day. Uh, and then he says, okay, now he says that children, yeah, don't eat sweets. And then the mother was surprised. You, know, you could have said this yesterday, why didn't you say that? You know. And then he said, I was also attached to eating sweets. So this sadhu is very conscious that the words, just by words alone, the change doesn't happen. The change has to manifest in me first before the words can actually have an impact. So there should be the consciousness of a person, the parents especially, uh, giving this, uh, giving any kind of samskaras to children, the parents should actually follow those samskaras. So in this uh, example, it's basically the administrators, the Kshatriyas, um, they have to be ideally 
uh, very careful when awarding any uh, punishment to innocent innocent public and then uh, there are other uh, grossly uh, sinful activities mentioned here again uh, so brahmahatya and then uh, giving trouble to the even the animals insects and uh, animals they are also very sinful so unnecessarily we should never trouble any kind of living entities in this world so again uh, <clears throat> there is a punishment there is a um, there is a punishment mentioned here um, krimi bojana so so one is being put into a, a lake where all this insects bites worms bites and then uh, <clears throat> again uh, a person who robs in the absence of emergency he, there is also a, a sinful activity mentioned here and finally a gross uh, sinful activity illicit sex is also mentioned here so uh, the essence in all of these is one should rise above this uh, bodily attraction and come to the platform of bhakti so bhakti has only bhakti has the only solution to uproot all this desires so bhagavatam also says tata rajas tamo bhava kamaloba dayasye chetayete anavidyam sitam satve prashidati so one has to uproot this tendencies of kama loba rajas tamas so and then come to the platform of sattva so the mode of goodness so in the mode of goodness we understand what is right what is wrong how to be really happy if we have to be really happy in this material world uh, there is a path of uh, happiness that is in the mode of goodness and if you have to be really happy beyond this material world then there is a path of happiness in the transcendental planet you know transcendental platform which is suddha sattva so that is why uh, brahmanas are free from punishment like even administrators they cannot even punish brahmanas uh, even if they did anything accidentally and um, they are brought to the king the king is he cannot punish brahmanas and brahmanas themselves they have to say okay what kind of punishment do you want so such is the elevated position of brahmanas because they are in the mode of goodness and they are bypassing all the troubles in the material world you know so so technically all of this sinful uh, activities gross sinful activities they do not perform because by mind words and body mind and words they are fully dedicated to purifying their consciousness so that they can be elevated to the higher planetary systems so even if you give them like you know a lot of money brahmanas and ask them to perform some grossly sinful activities they will not be able to perform their consciousness is so pure so so we have to come to such a platform where we understand that uh, where we consciously we understand that these are all uh, mistakes these are all gross mistakes that we should not perform so to come to such a state one should take up this uh, in the kali yuga especially nama sankirtanam so chanting the the holy name of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so this holy name can do purification in the heart level cheto darpana marjanam and then when the heart is purified we can understand what is right what is wrong we can understand bhagavad gita so we can understand what sukadev goshami is saying all of these will make sense otherwise on a rajas and tamas platform we cannot understand all of these uh, even sukadev goshami is describing this hellish planets but uh, who is on who is actually believing all this um, so to understand shastra one has to be at least on the platform of mode of goodness so so but all of these are factual statements that one either you know one believes or does not believe one has to go through all these punishments uh, and you know after all these punishments again one more gross body is awarded according to the activities of previous life 
and again one goes through this cycle of birth and death again and again so punarapi jananam punarapi mananam punarapi janani jatare sayanam ihe samsare bahudu sare krupaya pare pahi murare so finally we have to come to the shelter of pahi murare you know we have to ask the shelter of krishna to save ourselves from this cycle of birth and death hari krishna thank you very much సానంతకోటి వైష్ణవృంద్ కీ జై వంచా కల్పతృభ్యశ్చ కృపా సింధుభ్యే వచ పతీతానాం పావనేభ్యూ అన్ వైష్ణవేభ్యో నమో నమ హరే కృష్ణ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఎస్ మాతాజీ ప్రభుజీ మై క్వశ్చన్ వాస్ లైక్ వన్స్ ద హ్యూమన్ లైఫ్ ఇస్ గాన్ అండ్ దే గెట్ ఎ ఎనిమల్ బాడీ సిన్స్ దే ఎనిమల్ ఆల్సో హావ్ ద సిన్ఫుల్ రియాక్షన్స్ దట్ దే హావ్ టు గో త్రూ ద హెలిష్ ప్లానెట్స్ no mata ji so in one of this uh, purports itself um, one of this verses itself uh, uh, sukadev goshami says that animals there is no sense at all um, so when the tiger kills by instinct or when uh, animal kills by instinct for eating uh, that is different from the human being uh, doing the activity sinful activity so animals it just goes by evolution only so there is completely they are out of this sinful uh, punishments so okay. they generally get another body by evolution uh, they don't get the next body based on their activities so uh, so one living entity getting next body is not by their activities so evolution and then again they get a human body so thank you so much prabhu ji hari krishna thank you Thank you, Madhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for your wonderful class and for your wonderful association. Thank you all devotees for joining the call. Let's pay all of this insist to the Prabhuji. Vancha Kalpata Rupya Seya Kripa Sindhu Kya Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Kya Vaishnava Kya Namamana Kantat Srimad Pavatan Kya Jaya Shri Lepra Kupat Kya Jaya Please bless Sri Krishna Das Prabhuji Kya Jaya Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you all devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu Shri.